Texas lawmaker is proposing new legislation that would penalize countries for refusing to take back illegal immigrants captured in the U.S. One America's John Hines has more from Washington. During the campaign, President-elect Donald Trump often raised the issue of illegal immigrants committing crimes, being charged and arrested here, but never being returned to their country of origin. Now a bill before the House of Representatives could change that by penalizing these nations, says Texas Congressman Brian Babbitt. Well, this administration has released tens of thousands of criminal aliens uh, who really are supposed to be uh, being deported. They are not being deported. Uh, their countries of origin are refusing to take them back. Uh, it will enable us to cut off their foreign aid if they're on the uh, on the bad list, not taking their, their criminal aliens back. We can cut off their visa programs, and it will also, uh, to do something for the victims and the victims' families, will enable them to have standing in federal court. That federal standing in court will allow Americans to sue their government to force deportations if necessary, according to Babin's bill, the Criminal Alien Deportation Enforcement Act. It would involve the Department of Homeland Security in a problem that Babin believes has gotten out of hand. It will make the Homeland Department of Homeland Security to put out a list every three months of the countries who are failing and refusing to take their criminal aliens back. 86,000 criminal aliens uh, were released on the streets by this administration since uh, 2013, who, who have committed well over 230,000 crimes against American citizens. Sending these criminal aliens back to the countries of origins would seem to make common sense, says Peter Roth, a contributing editor at U.S. News and World Report. Regardless of the immigration issue overall and what your feelings are, that no one or very few people support the idea of allowing criminals who are in the United States illegally to remain in the United States. A previous version of this legislation was introduced in the last Congress, but now with a President Trump who has included this concept in his immigration plan, this legislation may receive renewed interest. John Hines, One American News, Washington.